Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful summer weekend here in the end times in the Finger Lakes of New York here on this gorgeous Saturday, August 3rd, 2019. And uh, so uh, here, except for, I don't know how long, maybe a 45 minute trip to the laundromat, I have been up for 10 and a half hours and I would say nine of those hours I have spent sitting in this chair right here, sitting in this chair in the corner, looking out at this absolutely gorgeous weekend in, uh, in the Finger Lakes of New York. You know, there's all sorts of stuff going on. There's farmers markets and free music and, uh, you know, just beautiful places to go visit, to go hiking, kayaking. Uh, I'm sure there's all sorts of live music going on here on Saturday night. This will be my one Saturday night here uh, in this stint. And... I have been sitting in this chair for eight of the last nine and a half hours. So I'm getting ready uh, for the highlight of my weekend here in the end times. This is your old doomsday lonely heart. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm coming into the last month of my 50s getting ready to hit the big 6-0 next month. I have no idea where I will be, who I will be with, or what I will be doing on my 60th birthday. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, the next phase of my life. And uh, just, just, you know, just getting more and more and more despondent and depressed. So I need to head to the cemetery to, uh, you know, where, where is a calm place to think about my future. The, the best place that I have found, all joking aside, to ponder my own future and the future of the planet is the local cemetery is my new place of refuge from this banging inside my head um, that is quickly reducing me to just a fetal position here in this chair, sitting here staring blankly out the window. So anyway, I decided, okay, Hamlet, you've you've got to... This, this doomosphere shit has clearly gotten the best of you. So you are going to go on and just pretend like you're not in the doomosphere. You are not going to read an article about the collapse of a planet. So I turned on uh, the mainstream media news to assiduously avoid any mention of the collapse of a planet. Of course, the big news now is the Walmart shooting in El Paso, Texas. I think there are up to 18 dead people in a Walmart shooting in Texas. Imagine that. But, uh, so, I don't know how far I had to uh, thumb through the non-Dumasphere articles to come out to this story, this long, involved story from good old USA Today. Good old USA Today, where we find this headline today in USA Today, where the collapse of the planet never mentioned. Take it away, USA Today. 
And this is just the opening. I'm just going to read the opening of this article. This article goes on and on and on and on and on. <clears throat> 80-year-old woman lived in filth. Nobody knew until she was found dead, eaten by her dog. You know, I was just, uh, you know, a few nights ago thinking I might actually be dying and that uh, Sancho would end up eating my, uh, my body before anybody found me. Okay, this is from Detroit, surprisingly enough. At first glance, she thought it was a Halloween prank. The puffy corpse slumped over the chair, had no eyes, nose, or mouth, just hair on a skull and bones sticking out from under a red sweater and plaid pants. How sick, Linda Kajma said to herself before venturing through the rest of the house in search of her missing cousin. It was Thanksgiving weekend and 80-year-old Sally Honeycheck, who for decades had lived in a run-down Detroit neighborhood <clears throat> on Joseph Campau near the Polish Yacht Club was not answering her phone. So, Cosmo went looking for her, only to discover that her eccentric cousin had been secretly leading a hellish existence, surrounded by filth, rats, feces, and mountains of clutter. In the end, it swallowed her whole. The horrifying figure that Cosma saw in the chair was her cousin. Honeycheck, an avid Avon makeup collector who had her hair done weekly and dressed impeccably for church functions, had died alone in the filth of her kitchen, sitting in a nylon blue lawn chair under a picture of the Last Supper. She was surrounded by garbage a foot deep, empty sardine cans, stacks of greeting cards, takeout bags, burned out appliances, and dirt stained walls. She had been eaten by her dog and by rats. In the next room was Honeycheck's dead Rottweiler, Jack, another victim of the house that had no heat, rat-chewed mattresses, squid-like fungi, growing out of the walls and dirt-crusted floorboards that sagged so much that Cosma fell through the kitchen floor. And then, uh, before you venture farther, uh, USA Today has this. Warning signs, seven signs that clutter in your home is more than being messy. It is so good to finally leave that pesky doomosphere behind and check in with normie society. What are the rest of the people doing while us doomers are sitting around talking about the collapse of a planet? Well, those normies who aren't out at, you know, uh, farmers markets and outdoor concerts and barbecues, 
Oh yeah, the uh, Falcon Ridge Folk Festival is going on a few miles from here. Uh, I remember volunteering at the Falcon Ridge Folk Festival on this spectacularly gorgeous 75 degree August weekend. Uh, you know, other than those people, what are the normies doing? Well, I know what I'm doing on my Saturday evening. Uh, I am going to take my little dog on a walk to the cemetery. I'm going to go hang out with about 1,000 of my, of, of my new friends I have made in the Finger Lakes. I am making friends in the Finger Lakes. They all have uh, Italian last names. I'm actually, you know, getting to recognize the, the tombstones. You know. And then I will come back here on my Saturday night. I will somehow avoid checking my empty mailbox at Pile of Fish Dating Service. Uh, and I guess I will sit back down in this chair alone and I will start drinking heavily, although I can't drink too heavily because I think I have two shots of tequila left to my name and now the goddamn liquor stores are probably closed tomorrow, it being Sunday. So I guess I will polish off my tequila bottle sitting in this chair by myself on this gorgeous Saturday night thinking about the golden years that I can look forward to as I hit the big 6-0 next month. Little dog, are you ready to go to the cemetery? You want to go hang out with a bunch of dead people? Let's go, let's go hang out with a bunch of dead people. Fuck, I hate my fucking life. <laughs>